Cheshire Augusta, I play drums for Stinking Lizabetta. I'm Yanni Papadopoulos, I play guitar for Stinking Lizabetta. I'm Alexi Papadopoulos, I play bass for Stinking Lizabetta. They are goofy. <laughs> yeah, so we're brothers, <laughs> so that's how we met. We met. <laughs> <laughs> and I saw, didn't meet. You I saw Cheshire together. play in a basement, <laughs> and I said, bang. was the queen of basement rock at the time. Let's get some of that basement style. <laughs> he said something like, you're the craziest thing in your band, and I'm the craziest thing in my band, so we better be the band. Did I say that? You did. That's crazy. So corny. I like to think of us as uh, a genre called basement rock. And uh, the Philly music scene is uh, very uh, actively active in basement rock. Basement rock is kind of a, a very inclusive uh, genre. It can <laughs> include almost anything. And uh, it's usually uh, an extreme expression of something. Phil West Philly, in particular, has always been just, you know, full of house shows, basement shows. Um, when I came here in 86, it was just the thing to do to have uh, tons of different styles of music on one bill. kinds of independent music, independent thought, independent art, anything that uh, is outside of the mainstream. Everyone has access to the mainstream, but not everyone has uh, access to the, to the underground, because uh, the underground has to fund itself <laughs> and survive on its own. I just like anything that, that is raw and real. Yeah, to me, like, punk rock isn't even a style. It's like a horrible misnomer to call punk rock a style. It's just the spirit. And it passes itself around. You can tell where it is if you're listening. Punk rock just says, like, hey, I can do this too. <laughs> well, I think what Yaya was talking about earlier about the punk rock spirit is sort of like the key to it all. The message would be just try to be original and thoughtful in the art that you produce. Look for ways to express yourself. Yeah. You're not doing it in a vacuum. Philadelphia's a good home base. It's a city of brotherly love. A city that shoves you back. <laughs> don't don't want everything all at once. We saw uh, little Richard at a South by Southwest, yes. and he said, he said, the grass is always greener on the other side, but it's just as hard to cut. Grass, <laughs> and <laughs> I thought that was really good. That's great. And that was his and advice for a bunch of people bunch who were in bands watching him. Grass, you know, it's so passing that it's just as hard to cut. If you've got the inspiration, just go for it. Go with it. drums. I'm Steve, I play lead guitar. Uh, I'm Lauren, I yell and scream a lot. I'm Danny, play bass. Uh, I'm Sean, I play guitar. When I first moved to Philadelphia, it was a very unique city because it's a big city <clears throat> where it was really affordable to live. Yeah, there's pretty, just like, a lot of people doing things. Yeah. People are always down <clears throat> to like help each other out and whatnot. That's definitely the cool part where everybody's willing to help each other. Everybody's like, oh, you're doing this, I can help you out with this, or do you need to promote with this? And I think that's the cool thing about Philadelphia scene is that there's basement shows. Like people can kind of do their own thing and form their own little like mini scenes. I think like the feeling that you <clears throat> get when you find something where you feel like you've 
fit in. Yeah. yeah. Is yeah. empowering and cool. Fitting in was a big thing in high school. Like, I was, like, the only weirdo in my school, so I didn't, <laughs> like, you know, meet anybody until that time, and that was like, whoa. Yeah. I just remember just being there and feeling like, this is cool. <laughs> I know people all over the world now yeah. because of music yeah. and skateboarding too, but you know, yeah. The music community is kind of cool. It's like, if you're in a band or you know what it's like, you know, like if some random band hits you up and it's like, hey, I'm looking for a show in your city. Like, you know, I know that I try to like do what I can or get them in touch with the right people. And I think it's that way anywhere. So throwing shows at my house really opened the world of like booking and just introduced me to other people like usually when people are like booking their own bands to your house or to your venue they usually are the ones booking at their like spot and like their state so, so it, that really that. opened it up yeah you know, totally like, like crazy and like every time you help somebody they're gonna have your back you know yeah and i also think what really is important with bands is you know like having like a really good um energy on stage because nobody's gonna talk about you if you're if if you're just on there just playing playing getting to the set but people really feel passion people really hear hear your passion and when that happens it excites people and they, they start telling everybody so I think that's one thing that's really important about promoting yourself is actually promoting your passion and I think that's what the most important thing about music is for me is for me for me to be able to um, share my passion with friends and people that I know and stuff. I think anytime you see somebody doing something that they're like stoked on is always going to inspire somebody. So I think like just always do what you're passionate, passionate about and like follow your goals, you know, don't let anybody stop you and like be free, like have fun, like be weird, like for <laughs> sure. And like, you know, like and whatever that means, you know, weird doesn't mean like crazy hair or whatever, just like being true to yourself. And like, I think, just have fun. Yeah, having fun. Just have fun. I think that's pretty good. My name's Grant Pavel. I make solo music. I play guitar in a band called Unto. Sometimes I play bass for Shamir. Uh, I'm a musician from Philadelphia. I think the biggest thing about the Philly scene is that it's such a diverse uh, scene and, and even though they're like sort of like hegemonic styles that kind of crop up, they shift very frequently. So over the years I was just exposed to so much music from like very disparate genres and you know, I started going to noise shows and like, you know, sort of like experimental dance shows and like no wave shows when I was like 15 and then when I was like 16 it was all like pop shows and when I was 17 it was all like hardcore shows and so kind of, you know, comes and goes in cycles. I, as an English major, I take <laughs> I take a lot of inspiration from the books I read, whether for school or for pleasure. The EP that I have coming out has two different songs that are literally just like like adaptations of plays by Beckett and Ionesco. When I was a freshman in high school at FSS, uh, there was only like one other kid in the school who was like really into music. Uh, they were a senior, um, their name is Nikki Duvall. Uh, I still think they're like a genius. They make music under the names Weather and Yield Tank. Check that out. They actually also have an EP coming out very soon. Really good stuff. The first shows I ever went to were shows that Nikki would invite me to because I like kind of like, you know, I would kind of just follow them around the school. So I was like, this person's so cool. <laughs> They play shows, I need to figure out what's going on with this. So they started inviting me to their shows. And 
The first show, like one of the first shows I ever went to actually is in the house that I live in now, which is funny. Like the first show I went to, I remember just being like, like starstruck by the concept of like live music almost, because I'd only ever been to like one concert before then. And it, or like one like concert is like that I had like chosen to go to and it was like a big like stadium concert. The whole concept of like being able to like talk to the musicians was really like crazy. That was something that was very influential on me. It's, it's, there is like an inherent community just due to like the physical intimacy of the show. Um, and at the like one of the first shows, it might have been like the second or third, but the very early show I went to it, I met Shamir and they were like famous at the time. They were kind of blowing up and I was like, I remember just like seeing them in the kitchen at the show, which was like, what the heck? <laughs> and being really starstruck by that. There is like an inherent sort of like narcissistic thrill to playing live music, regardless of how well it's going. You know, I think like part of like be becoming like good at playing live music is to like kind of take joy in it, no matter how well the audience is receiving it. And honestly, sometimes that means you have to just kind of like bow into the fact that you're failing. There is like a real like narcissistic thrill and sort of causing people pain sometimes with your music. <laughs> it's like, oh, you don't like this? I don't either. Screw you. <laughs> I, in Philly, just generally like, because I know all the people that run venues or I know someone who knows someone who runs a venue. If I want to set up a show, I just kind of text people. It's a very unofficial process. It's like daunting if you haven't done it or if you don't know people, but it's like if you've been in the scene long enough, it's just it's just like it's like yeah, it's like organizing a party. Definitely I would have to say House of Yarga cuz I lived there for a year. And even before then I played like tons of shows there. You know, it's been it's like the longest lasting house venue in Philly at this point. Um, I don't know. I don't really think I have a message. I don't really tend to write with like things in mind. I think my ultimate goal is to make music that feels like it's like grown out of the earth almost. That it feels like it's sort of like primordial. Something that's sort of like been there forever. Career-wise, I would like to uh, be able to make a living off of my music. Go listen to my music. Dude. <laughs> I say like this stuff about.